Well, let's bring in our international affairs editor, Philip Turl. Philip, for those trying to get a sense of what's happened here, talk us through the, the events, including the president weigh in on this. So, Gérard Depardieu is one of the best-known French actors around the world. He's starred in dozens of films since the 1970s and is really seen as being an icon as far as French cinema is concerned. Basically, if a film has Depardieu in it, then the film is going to be a success at the box office. And he's become uh, well-known as an icon of French cinema right the way around the world. So, uh, these uh, allegations which have come forward have seriously undermined the image of Gérard Depardieu here in France. A reminder, there are three women who have said that they were sexually molested by him. One of them has accused him of rape. Uh, the most recent accusation started earlier this month uh, by uh, a Spanish actress uh, who said that uh, she was sexually molested by Gérard Depardieu back in 1995. This is all under investigation uh, by the French uh, judicial authorities. Now, on top of that, just earlier this month, on the 7th of December, France de France Television, uh, the French state television network, showed a documentary uh, called The Complementary Inquiry into Gérard Depardieu, which carried those remarks that you were talking about, which were filmed in North Korea at a uh, stud farm where a little girl was riding on a horse and Gérard Depardieu was uh, quite obscene in the comments that he made about the little girl and about his feelings towards women. And that has led to a backlash against him in France and then a signing of this uh, tribunal in Le Figaro, which was published last night, the French newspaper Le Figaro, signed by about 50 personalities backing Gérard Depardieu, saying that he is being lynched in public uh, ahead of any investigation into whether he is guilty or innocent. You have, as you just mentioned, a Gr large group uh, feminist movement, a lot of people saying, hang on a minute, look at the femicide rate in France here, a lot of crimes going unpunished and pointing fingers to say, this is wrong, it should be looked at. You have on the other side of this, this, this group of celebrities saying this man hasn't done anything he's alleged to have, we wait to see him, him whether or not he's tried for it. And yet, the president's got involved too. This is a divisive issue. Well, I think this was an occasion where President Macron really should not have got involved in this because he has given his backing to uh, Gérard Depardieu. He appeared on French television last week and, and said that he was uh, willing to back the actor uh, and saying that he was a, a salesman for France overseas he was an icon and that he was uh, an ambassador for the country and that uh, he had the right to the presumption of innocence, which is correct, but it's not really the position of the French president to come out in support of someone in case that support then crumbles if the person is found guilty uh, if they are brought to trial. Uh, so that has inflamed the debate here in France, and you're quite right. People in the feminist movement have said, look, uh, there's no reason why Gérard Depardieu should receive a different sort of treatment to anybody else who's accused of, of rape or or, or sexual impropriety. Uh, and uh, this has split uh, public opinion in France, especially when uh, the figures show that many women who have been raped or suffering from uh, sexual uh, impropriety from people uh, go to the police uh, and, in many cases, uh, their claims are thrown out. 74% of claims uh, don't go any further than just the initial uh, notification of the police. And only one woman out of 10, according to the figures, actually does go to the police uh, to report sexual crimes. So I think there's a general worry in France that Gérard Depardieu is such an icon. He should be someone who is responsible. Uh, OK, he's going to be tried. Uh, on the one hand, you have these 50 personalities who are backing him, saying he deserves the right to innocence until the trial, but others are saying, well, look, seeing these results uh, and these comments that we've seen on French television, this is totally unacceptable, and therefore he needs to be criticised straight away.